On to race number four. This is the first leg of the triple trio and starts with a class five over the 1400 metres. Sincere horse, class five for the first time. He's been last on all four starts so far. Sure Supreme gets the uh, blinkers on. Laugh out loud, the nine year old going round. Casper Fans has chaparral star for the first time. Of course, the distance winner back in June. Sportsmaster, runner up on the opening day behind Le Panache. Golden Cannon, of course, the distance winner last season. Sunny Orient coming out of the Le Panache race. And fair comment, blinkers come off in for his uh, seasonal return. He's gone from Tony Cruz to Jimmy Ting. Yep, speed map. It's another one that looks slow, potentially slow. There are a couple of possibilities, though, of horses that may be wanting to push forward. Lucky Storm, even Sportsmaster, rather than being stuck out there. Exponents, if he steps better. Uh, Rochford could possibly lead. The olden days, Golden Cannon be right there. And Shaw Supreme did lead all the way in a trial recently. Um, blinkers are on him, so maybe there's a change of tactics there. I think a little bit quicker than slow, possibly. Uh, Shepard will stay, you can see, on a bit of a loose rein as he comes down. But he, uh, he was going nicely enough, as you can see. He looks like he's not carrying too much excess condition there. So uh, here's one over the course and distance before. It was a big price. Sportsmaster, he's getting no luck with the draw, so that's the query with him. With him. But uh, he's run two good races uh, recently. Uh, it was a good second last time behind La Panache. Uh, that form looks OK now. He's, uh, La Panache is going well. Mm. And uh, here's uh, Lucky Storm. You know, he's now with Danny Shum, and uh, he's just doing it what he has to do here this morning. One, two, four, seven, the one closest to us. Golden Effort's also running on the card. All right, we'll have a look at uh, Lucky Storm in a minute and Sportsmaster as well. Uh, jackpot here in the TT, though, 1.8 million, just shy of 1.9 in actual facts. Uh, so an estimated dividend in the region of $4 million for the triple trio players. We will start our search here with Sportsmaster, Lucky Storm and Sunny Orient uh, over the... 1,600 metres, so taking the drop-in trip here. This is back on the opening day. Yep, Sportsmaster, barrier four on the opening day, gate number 12. So a tricky predicament, um, but obviously uh, back in trip, I think, is a positive. Uh, look, these are class five gallopers. You can make a little case for the majority of them. Um, I think I've shopped most around most of these. I've got Sportsmaster, and I'm a little bit worried about the draw, but he is uh, a lot fitter now after that first up run. Right. A lot of Ricky use have taken a bit of time this season. All right, OK. Uh, Chaparral Stars first up here. This is the back end of um, June. It was over 80 to 1 as well. It was a huge win. Uh, it, Superior Boy and Rochford uh, filling minor spots. It was a huge win. And uh, in the off-season, gone from Michael Chang now to Casper Found. So uh, interested to see what Casper uh, can extract from the horse. Barrier 1, Karis Teton to ride. Crossover nose band goes on. Um, I think the two trials leading in have been quiet and this was, a, as you say, a fairly comprehensive win all considered where he came from. Superior boy is generally good at putting himself somewhere in the picture but um, this might race actually might have more maidens than that other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see how he goes with uh, with Casper Founds before I put him in the numbers. I, I'm just interested. When he did win that race, there was no form around it mm. and it was on the back of a quick backup as well. He'd, he'd run a week beforehand. Yeah, ran again after that, finished uh, fifth, beaten four lengths. Um, exponents, uh, lost his chance at the start last time out, sort of, um, he likes to be on speed, blew that, he was wide right at the back, but uh, this is him in uh, winning form in June. Yeah, with class fives, I'm going to go with the one I think is going to get the, one of the best runs, and I think exponents can lead this race, or if we're at the very worst, is going to be the trial. As we know, they don't chase that hard, and uh, when he did win this race, he won it really nicely. He blew, blew his, all his chances last time, and with that run under his belt, was just a ran round the back. Um, I think he can win this. Yeah, well, you've been a follower of him for a while, Paul. If he steps away um, off the basis of that run, he's right in it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, still one more to have a look at, though, and that's uh, Golden Cannon, who's reasonably consistent, really. Uh, Golden Cannon here behind uh, Supreme Witness. Uh, this was his uh, first up ever. It was. It was a good, solid effort as well. Um, as I said, when we looked at the speed map in the olden days, he would have probably led the uh, field in this race, but he's been a, a horse that's sort of come from the back part or middle part of the field in his last sort of six to ten months of racing. He's generally consistent. This is definitely his class. He can stretch himself up to 1,600 metres as well. 
Um, certainly one to consider from Barrier 5. Yeah, he's the Quinella horse for me. I think he'll get a good run in transit as well. So I found a spot for him. All right, OK. But uh, first leg of the TT, fair comments, actually. Favourite here, Paul, but it's wide open. Yeah, it's no surprise it's the first leg of the Triple Three. <laughs> uh, this one, the Class Fivers. So I've gone with exponents to beat Golden Cannon. Sportsmaster, I think it's going to probably be the best horse coming out of this, but he's got a bad draw. And laugh out loud, he's an old boy now, but he's... You know, he's one off 68. He's rated 36. So it's not the strongest field about. So I'll put him in for four. So we're 12, 9, 7 and 3. Uh, but I'll go exotics as well. Yeah, it's a tough one for the TT players to start with. I'll go with Superior Boy. I thought his first up run over 1,000 was good. But 30 start made. And he's had 16 minors. He's been second, third or fourth 16 times from 30. But never won one. Chaparral star... Uh, change a stable, good barrier. Fair comment now with Jimmy Ting. So there's no doubt there will be some money for him. And as you pointed out already, he is the early favourite in Golden Cannon. So 5, 4, 14 and 9. All right. A bit from column A, a bit from column B for me. But we haven't got... There isn't one number. We've all got there across our four numbers. So um, Not surprised. Go. That's the first leg of the TT. Race number four. Race number five is next for us. That's the first leg of the six-up. <laughs> 